welcome back to another video um today i thought i would show you guys what's inside my hospital bag and what's inside my baby's baby's <laughs> diaper bag i started packing my hospital bag at 28 weeks um basically the minute that i hit the third trimester i was like all right it's time to start packing my doctor had also gave me a pamphlet that had said that now is the time to start packing since I'm in the third trimester. If you don't know, if when you're carrying twins, they do come unexpectedly. So I don't want to be unprepared. Now yeah, let's get started. I am going to start off with the diaper bag since it's the least heavy and um, it's fully packed. I just have a few things that I need to drop in there and stuff like that. Quick reminder, if you are a first time mom, I want you to understand also too that the hospital does provide you with what you need and that can go as far as Similac um, or whatever formula you choose or pads, underwears, anything that you will need, the hospital usually provides. So you shouldn't have to really pack that much. but. It's a personal preference. A lot of women do prefer to just bring their own stuff so that they're more comfortable. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Whew, excuse me and the way that I'm speaking. I'm so tired and I'm so out of breath. So let's get started. So over here we have my Kia Baby's diaper. I had made a video on this before and I had told you guys that they had allowed me to pick a product of my choosing and I was able to buy this diaper bag why well, didn't buy it they sent it to me i really fell in love with it so this is the diaper bag i will be using for my twins i had already started packing stuff in here like i said 28 weeks ago i'm now in my 30th week so i don't remember what i had put in here to be honest with you but we'll just start off so i have some baby girl pacifiers i'm gonna put more than these two because their grandmother actually brought them a personalized pacifier with their names on it and I didn't put it in here because I am not revealing the names until they are born. So um, I will be adding those two personalized pacifiers along with these two into the diaper bag when the time comes as well. Now inside of the diaper bag, a changing pad but this changing pad comes with the diaper bag so that was not something I put in myself. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six onesies. I have six of them because usually, from my experience, the babies stay in the hospital clothing up until they are ready to leave. Some hospitals do allow you to change your clothes, some don't. So I'm just bringing these depending on how long I do stay there. I don't know if I'll be having a C-section again or if I'll be doing vaginal, so. I brought six because it's two babies and I don't know what to expect so I brought six of those. I also brought the, these two sleepwears that they have had for a, while, for a while that their grandmothers purchased for them. So I brought these two. Um, they, they have the foot out so it's really cute. It says friends forever <laughs> born together. So I fell in love with this and I was like, nope, I'm taking this to the hospital. <laughs> the next thing that I have is about two birth cloths, which I don't think I'll need, but I got it anyway because I took it anyway because, you know, it can't hurt to have it. And the last thing that I have on here, like I said, you don't need to pack much, really. But the last thing I do have is their going away outfit, which I will not show. I'll probably show... <laughs> when they are um, born in the birth vlog. But that's the last thing I have for them. We picked out two sizes for their going away outfit, um, me and my mother-in-law, because we don't know what how many pounds they're gonna be. They might be preemies or they might come out like regular newborn sizes. So we brought two just in case. <laughs> we don't know exactly how big they are going to be. The only thing that I do want to add into this diaper bag, I must say, is receiving blankets. That's like the only thing I think I haven't purchased for these babies yet, is receiving blankets. I don't know why, I keep forgetting, but I need to go purchase some and put like at least like two of them in here. Like I said, again, you don't need that much stuff, 
um, the hospital does provide you with what you need but if you're one of those mothers who are very picky or you like to just have comfort then it's perfectly okay to bring what you want to bring now we're gonna go check out and see what's in my hospital bag my hospital bag I love how I packed it um, I had been watching a lot of videos to see what I should add into my hospital bag like I said I've never done one before so this was very fun to do and I know my comfort level so I know what things I needed to be comfortable in so I packed some stuff in there for comfort and there's still stuff that I haven't put inside yet that I'm waiting until the time comes to put in there for instance my husband's belongings aren't inside of my hospital bag as of yet because we don't know what's going on I don't know if he will be able to be with me continuously because he does work and I have other children so I don't know if he will be able to actually be there through the whole thing so I don't want to pack overpack for him and he's not able to stay with me for whatever reason so so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up it's really heavy for me so the first thing I whew. oh my god see no one ever told me that actually I didn't know I was gonna be a twin mom to be honest so like a lot of the new things I'm experiencing is crazy. This third trimester is one hell of a, whew, I'm out of breath for everything. <laughs> okay, so I have some pads, but I have some pads right here that um, I'm putting inside of the hospital bag. I know the hospital provides these things, but sometimes they don't provide the ones with wings or they don't provide big heavy ones. So, actually they do, depending on the hospital, I guess. But I'm just bringing mine, you know. It can't hurt to have more because honestly, you bleed a lot. I found these pads right here at the Dollar Tree. Um, <laughs> I was like, they look, they're actually adult under pads. So, and they're disposable. They look very, very thick. Um, and they look like they can hold a lot. I don't know if anybody's ever used these. But it only comes in twos. So I only got a few of them because, like I said, I'm going to have pads. Um, my issue right now is that I wanted to have some Depends. But I could not find any sizes larger than a 2XL. If you guys know where I can get a 3XL Depends, let me know in the comments down below because I couldn't find any. And I think it would be much easier for me to just wear on uh, diapers than to have the pads. Because I feel like the pads you leak sometimes and you're always moving around after you have the babies and I feel like I'm a leaker <laughs> and I'm gonna cause myself to like fucking leak through the next thing that I have packed here is a robe um, I've never had a maternity robe but I brought one this time around um, to help me out with breastfeeding because I know I'll be breastfeeding for two and um, I just wanted I just wanted a robe that can cover me up. Sometimes the hospital is like really cold, so it's good to have one of these as well. And over here I have a pajama set in pink that I brought for myself um, to represent my baby girl. So I have that. I also have two other dresses that I will be also packing along in my luggage. But the reason why they're not in here is because I wore them already. <laughs> so I gotta just go wash them real quick and put them back in here. Over here I have my maternity bras um i think i don't know what size they are i can't remember but i got these maternity bras in on amazon um the next thing i got are these postpartum panties i didn't have these when i had um jason hunter and when i had jace i had a c-section and my panties were actually hurting my incision so I didn't know these existed. That's why I never brought them. So now that I know that they exist, I love them. Um, I'll open one for you. I have like about five of them. And basically they're this big. Of course, you know, mine's big because I'm a big girl. <laughs> but they have the extra fold up here and it's thick so that it doesn't hurt your incision for like C-sections. Or if you just want something that's not going to hurt you in general. Um, after you give birth then these panties are the way to go I'm gonna leave the links down below of where I got everything so that you can go ahead and purchase it also the next thing I have in my maternity hospital bag is this container right here 
that fits perfectly inside of my luggage. I brought this at Dollar Tree and I got it in pink, of course. <laughs> I'm going all out. But um, what I put in here is a few things for the hospital stay. I got a loofah and I got a... <laughs> A face cleaning cloth wipes these are all stuff that I brought from the Dollar Tree for a dollar I was not spending any more than what I have um, I got some wet wipes as well I got some body soaps which is like Olay and ivory so I brought my own I brought some toothpaste as well I got deodorant in here um, I also got some mouthwash and I also got these travel size toothbrushes and toothpaste. Um, like I said, I'm going to be adding more stuff in here pretty soon for my husband. And if I feel like I'm missing anything, I will be adding whew, some more in here as, ooh, <laughs> as well. The last two things that I have in here are my hospital slippers. Um, it's, it's good to have these. At the end of the day, you don't necessarily need them because they do give you hospital socks that are, um, how do I say, they have those non-slip grip things at the bottom, so you don't really need them, but like I said, it's your day, you've given birth to the most beautiful child in the world, if you want to be comfortable, go ahead and get comfortable and buy what you need. The last thing that I thought to pack inside my maternity bag is these two-in-one boob shells that I have here I don't know if you guys ever heard of this product I brought it because I was like what if I start leaking first of all I've never breastfed two babies at the same time so I don't know if um, I'm the, gonna be the type that leaks like really quickly or if I'm gonna be the type that I'll be producing just colostrum and then like maybe by the time I get home I'll be a leaker but I'm already leaking colostrum I think now I started leaking I think in week 28 um, through my boobs not a lot just a little bit so I don't know if when I have the twins if I'm gonna need this so I brought this instead of getting um the pads that just catches the milk I want to, to have these so that they can actually catch the milk for me and I wouldn't waste any milk at all so I'm putting these in here just in case I might need it and yeah so that is all that is everything that is inside my baby girls diaper bag as well as their uh, as well as my hospital bag um, like I said again, you're gonna always probably gonna want to switch things around in there, probably add more, take out some. So don't feel overwhelmed if you haven't started a bag yet. You know, um, if you're a procrastinator, I would suggest for you just write down the things that you know that you need and then have them ready in the house so that if accidentally or like unexpectedly you your water breaks, you can actually just pack up real quick and go so you don't have to worry about oh my god I'm missing so much um I'm pretty sure if my hospital wasn't so far away I wouldn't be so hell-bent on getting things done early but it is far so I just want to be on the safe side so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching um do stay updated with me so that you don't miss out on my birth vlog it'll be my very first and last birth vlog because I'm not having kids after this so um, I would definitely love that you guys are all on this journey with me. Um, I keep it raw, I keep it real. Like, this pregnancy is rough. It comes with a lot of aches and pains. And <laughs> I know it's for the best, but boy, <laughs> I'm ready to give birth. Oh boy, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye.